do what you can do. Everybody can do what I do. We're called and anointed by God for such an hour as this, and I believe he's in the process of bringing everybody's level of consciousness up so that the more that they respond in ascension uh, activity, the more they realize that they can do m much more than they think they can do. I think that the hard thing for people to get by is just the mental thought that somehow they're not good enough, they're not smart enough, they're not gifted enough. And actually, it doesn't have anything to do with that. It has to do with the fact that Jesus loves us all. And I'm not any more special, any more anointed than any other person. I'm just one who's called by God to stir up the gift of God that's already in you. We all have everything we have need of inside of us already. So all I am is a catalyst and a forerunner to bring those things to the surface. Everybody can ascend. Everybody can work miracles. Everybody can do signs and wonders. The issue is... Um, do you really believe you can do it? And the second issue is practice, practice, practice. Everything that we do in the realms of the spirit requires a decision on our part. We can't even get saved if we don't make a decision. We can't get filled with the Holy Spirit if we don't make a decision. The same is true with everything that we activate in our spiritual life. All we have to do is make a decision. And if we make the decision that we can go into heaven and stand face to face with Jesus Christ and receive divine downloads from heavenly beings, once we make the decision, there's nothing that we can't do. <laughs> what if I feel like I can't ascend, like I can't see, I, I can't hear every time I try to do it? Well, my recommendation would be what Paul has to say. I pray that the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ would open up the eyes of your understanding that you might know that you know, not guess, know the purpose and the high calling that is yours in him. So what I would do is every day before I would sit down for ascension, I'd just say I release the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and revelation so that the eyes of my understanding would be opened up. I, I think that many people make this too hard. Part of the reason is being they think that, that they have to leave their body and float up to heaven or do something like that when actually all you have to do is just close your eyes and go. One of the things that I love about Christopher Carter is that he teaches people how to open up the eyes of their heart. And basically, if somebody's listening to this message, they probably already have it in their heart to see. So by activating our imagination, which many people say, well, don't get into your imagination, but your imagination is actually the God-given part of you that is uh, to prepare you to be a co-worker and a co-creator together with him. So just shut your eyes and just begin to imagine that you're in the heavenly realms and the next thing you know, you'll be surrounded by heavenly creatures.